Hello guys, welcome back to Smelly Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing the very popular perfume that is Pink Sugar by Aquilina. So Aquilina is an Italian cosmetic brand based in Italy obviously. However, this fragrance is available worldwide. So here I have the original fragrance which is just called Pink Sugar. And I think this one was released in either 2004 or 2005, so it is by no means a new perfume on the market. However, I do think due to its popularity it's going to be sticking around for quite a while longer. So here I just have the 30ml bottle. It is the smallest one you can get. However, I do think you can get rollerballs and um, samples in some countries as well of this but as far as bottles go this is the smallest you can also get 50 mils and 100 mils which are the same design just obviously wider and taller so there are other fragrances in this line as well you can get pink sugar simply pink sugar sparks and pink sugar sensual i've not tried out any of these yet but i do think i would like to try one or two as i did really enjoy this perfume there are also available uh, matching body lotion and I think a matching shower gel for this particular fragrance. I didn't get them because I was just testing out this with a small bottle. But I would like to repurchase maybe 100ml because of how much I liked it. As you can see I've used almost all the fragrance. There's only a tiny little drop left in here. Maybe 3 or 4 sprays. But I did think I'd like to use quite a lot of the product before reviewing it for you guys just so that this is a genuine review and not a first impressions video. So as you see here, the case for this perfume is a very pretty cylinder. On the front here it says pink sugar again and it has this twirling design going all the way round. The pink bits feel um, a little bit rough, almost like leather, and at the front here there is a little swirl. Mine is a bit dirty as I try to keep the perfume in its little case while it was in my bag so I didn't damage the bottle however as you can see on the lid there some of the pattern has come off but you know so onto the bottle itself as you can see is a cylinder on the front here it says pink sugar and it has this twirl design going all the way around the bottle itself is glass however the lid is just plastic um, and you can see the little spray here is a deep fuchsia colour, which I think brings the whole thing together very nicely. So everything about the packaging matches the description of the perfume. I think it's very pretty and definitely adds the look. The look adds to my perfume collection. I always keep it on display. So, according to the official website, the, some of the top notes include bergamot, Sicilian orange and fig leaves. The middle notes include thin lily, licorice and red fruits, and the base notes include vanilla, caramel, wood and musk. However, I would not agree with the order of these notes at all. In my opinion, I cannot smell any of the red fruit, orange or lily. If you ask me, this is not at all a fruity perfume. I would say there are no fruit tones, no red berries none at all this is very much a sugar candy bomb perfume um, yeah I definitely no not in the top notes or the bottom notes do I ever smell any red berries but that's just my opinion when I first spray the perfume I definitely get a very strong smell of bergamot and musk and licorice now this is my least favorite part of the perfume when you initially smell it there is this very strong uh, overpowering smell that almost smells like burnt sugar. It smells like when you leave sugar in the pan and it burns and it's just to me personally it's not a very nice smell. You can definitely smell the candy floss and sweet tones underneath but this element of the perfume it would be very easy to overdo so you definitely have to use it in moderation when you first spray it. However, once it settles, which doesn't take too long, it is the beautiful candy sweet vanilla caramel notes. They all come through and it does make a lovely warm sweet smell that sits on the skin beautifully. Um, I have found that this has a very long lasting power once it has settled. I would say I could put it on in the morning and easily wear it for the whole day without too much hassle having to respray. 
and I especially found this perfume that if you spray it on clothing, you know, accidentally or purposefully, it does cling to the clothing very well and will maintain its smell for a very long period of time. So if you are the sort of person that does like to, you know, spray your clothing a little bit, this one would be good, especially seeing as it is so cheap. Um, so the only thing I would say about this perfume is just use it in moderation as I said, it can be very overpowering and it is quite a synthetic smell. It does smell like manufactured candy floss or um, cotton candy, it's not a natural smelling perfume fragrance so you do have to just be careful to not overdo it um, as otherwise you may get sick of the, sweet, of the smell as it is very sickly, I will say that. It's not everyone's cup of tea but if you do like sweet perfumes and it is for you. So on to the price, for this 30ml bottle I paid £10.71 pence. however I could not find this anywhere in stores in the UK, I looked in Boots, Debenhams, Superdrug, none of them were carrying this brand, so I did have to order it online, I think I got it from fragrancenets.com, so I did also have to pay a bit of shipping so it wasn't as cheap as you might be able to get it if they sell it near you. However, the price is still very reasonable compared to other perfumes, and with this lasting power, I would say it's definitely worth the price. I also did look up the price of a 100ml, and usually a 100ml is around £19. So, in my opinion, that is an amazing price for the lasting power. I've bought many perfumes similar to this price, and they just don't cling onto the skin at all. So I do think this is a very good purchase. My only other concern about this perfume is you may not be able to see it with mine, but when you first get the perfume, it does have a slight, the liquid has a slight yellow colour, um, so that's fine, quite a lot of perfumes have that, but I did find after a month or two, the liquid in mine went to a very deep yellow, almost orangey colour, um, which obviously didn't look <laughs> very appealing. I'm not sure if I left it in the sun, I don't think so, I think it was in my bag most of the time. So my only advice would be to try and keep it inside the sleeve, just to protect it from any sunlight and to try and prevent it, prevent any decoloration, just because it doesn't look very nice. I mean, it didn't stain my clothes or anything, but it just doesn't look nice to have a very deep orangey <laughs> colour in a bottle like this. So that's my only concern. If I do get the 100ml, I will just try and keep it in here, um, especially when it's in my perfume display or near any sunlight. So that's it guys, my roundup of this perfume be is a very warm sweet smell to be used in moderation, but I hope you enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe and leave any comments downstairs, <gasps> downstairs, in the comments below of any fragrances you'd like me to review next, I'm open to all suggestions, see you soon!